So, ito lang yung ating, guys, yung ating example. So, ayun. So, pali, no, this is our example problem number three. So, for the beam shown in the figure, if F sub C prime is equal to 27.6 megapascal and F sub Y equals to 413.7 megapascal, determine the steel ratio, the minimum steel ratio, and the maximum steel ratio. And then determine the design moment capacity, FMN, of the beam in kilonewtons meters. Okay. So, sa ating beam ngayon, guys, so, bali yung ating width, again, is 255. Effective depth natin is 385. Total depth, 460. And then, 75 yung ating concrete cover. So, meron tayong tatlong 28 millimeter diameter na bars. Okay, so, isolve natin to guys. So, punta tayo ngayon sa Y. So, yung nga, guys, no? So, ang ating isosolve is, una, yung steel ratio, which is the raw. Yung, tapos pangalawa, yung minimum steel ratio, which is the raw minimum. And yung pangatlo, the maximum steel ratio, which is the raw maximum. Okay, so unahin mo natin guys yung raw steel ratio, which is the raw. Alam natin na yung ating formula para dito is AS over BD. Okay? So, of course, makukumpin natin yung AS. Sabi natin guys that AS, uh, meron, sabi natin sa ating beam na meron tayong tatlong reinforcement, ito yun guys, na tag 28 mm diameter na bars. So, ayun, so bali para sa ating AS, ito yung ating computation guys, tsaka yung B, tsaka D. So, uh, AS natin, yung area ng isang circular na bar is 5 over 4 times 28 squared kasi 28 mm diameter yung uh, diameter nga. So, times 3 kasi tatlo sila. So, 1,847.26 square millimeters yung ating AS. So, yung B is already given sa problem. Ito yung width ng ating beam, which is 255. And 385 yung ating D. So, ang lalabas, guys, kapag kinumpute uh, natin yung raw, lalabas nga dito is 0.01882. Okay? So, ayun. So, ngayon, guys, i-compute naman natin yung raw minimum. So, ano ba yung ating... Um, uh, paano ba natin makukumpute yung raw minimum? Okay, so... Okay, so according dito guys, sa NSTP 2015, yung raw minimum is ito, uh, kung ito is greater than or equal to 1.4 over F sub Y. So again, no, that's 0.25 square root of F sub C prime over F Y. Uh, and that must be greater than or equal to 1.4 over F Y. So ibig sabihin guys na ito, again, ulitin ko lang, kung sino yung, kung ito is mas maliit compared sa 1.4 F Y, 1.4 over FY, then ito yung ating gagamitin. So, ibig sabihin guys, kung sino yung mas malaki sa kanilang dalawa, yun yung ating gagamitin. Raw minimum. So, okay. So, punta tayo guys dito sa uh, blackboard. So, ayun. So, bali, ito yung ating mga formula guys. No, inano ko na dito. Okay. So, again, yung raw minimum natin is 0.25 square to F sub C prime over FY. Tsaka yung 1.4 over FY. So, of course, given na yung F sub C prime tsaka FY natin guys, ito yun. F sub C prime is 27.6 megapascal and 413.7 megapascal naman yung F sub Y. Okay. So, pag sinabsitute natin itong dalawa dito, itong dalawa dito, then ang lalabas ng mga values guys is 0.003175 at saka 0.00384. Okay. So, ngayon, no, alin yung pipiliin natin? Of course, yung mas malaki yung pipiliin natin. So, of course, ang lalabas na value is 0 0.00384 0 0 0.00384 Okay? Okay. So, bali now, guys, um, kailangan muna natin, uh, bago tayo mag-proceed sa raw maximum, ay i-compare muna natin yung na-compute natin yung raw minimum, raw, sa tax. Ito, guys, yung raw na na-compute natin sa raw minimum. So, ayun. So, uh, yung raw nga natin is 0 0.01882 and it is greater than sa raw minimum. So, okay, di ba? Kasi 0 0.01882 man, mas malaki kaya sa minimum. Ito man dapat yung pinakamaliit na raw, guys. Kasi nga, this is the raw minimum. Okay? So, para sa raw maximum, so, para natin siya i-compute? So, ang sabi sa ini CP, the raw maximum is equal to raw when the tension straight is equal to 0 0.005. So, all we need to do, guys, is to... Um, set the strain ng steel sa so 0 0.005, tapos kukunin natin yung raw. So, parang katulad ng nung kanina. Okay? So, ayun. So, yun tayo, guys. 
So ayun, so nagrawin na ako ng, um, renewing ko na guys lahat. Kasi actually, inulit ko lang itong video kasi nag, naloko yung aking koan, yung Microsoft Whiteboard. So ayun guys, no, so, uh, eto na nga yung aking strain diagram. So 0 0.003 dito sa concrete, 0 0.005 dito sa my steel. Tapos, eto will be called C-Max kasi ang purpose nitong section, itong strain diagram na to is para makuha lamang si Romax. Tapos of course, eto will be effective depth minus C-Max. Effective depth man ito, itong height na to. Okay, so by ratio proportion, 0 0.005 divided by, eto divided by D minus C-Max is equals to 0 0.003 divided by C-Max. Okay, so of course, given na yung D which is... Uh, 385 millimeters. So, makukompute natin dito si C-Max. So, ito na nga guys, si C-Max. Okay? Then, of course, paano makompute si Rho? Okay? Di ba nga, meron tayong formula na A-Max is equals to Rho-Max. Uh, A is equals to Rho, F sub Y, D over 0.85 S of C prime. Tapos, meron tayong formula guys na C equals to A over beta 1. So, i-merge natin tong dalawa. Okay, again, magagamitin natin yung maximum na C at saka So, magiging maximum ito na A. So, pag naging maximum ito na A, hindi maximum ito na raw. So, ayun. So, ayun, so i-merge natin sila guys dalawa. So, substitute lamang yung A max. etong A, substitute dito. So, magiging C max equals to raw max F sub Y D over 0.85 beta 1 F sub C prime. Okay. So, of course, na-compute na natin, guys, si C-Max, which is 144.375, kanina. Si F sub Y is given sa problem, 413.7. Dito natin siya ilalagay. 385 millimeters yung D. F sub C prime is also given sa problem, which is 27.6. So, ang problema na lang dito, guys, is yung beta 1. So, paano nga ba yung pag-compute ng beta 1? So, tingnan natin siya sa ating PowerPoint. Ayun. So, dito sa PowerPoint, guys, take note, yung F sub C prime natin is 27.6. So, nandito siya sa my first na row. So, 0.85 yung ating beta 1. Okay? So, I hope nagkakaintindihan tayo about that, guys. So, ayun. So, beta 1 natin is 0.85. Okay na? Ito na. And kapag ka pinuha natin yung raw max na labas nga is 0 0.01808. Pakicompute nyo na lang guys sa inyong mga calculator, no? So, ayun. So, kailangan din natin siyang i-compare sa raw. Yung raw natin guys, eh kanina na compute nga is 0 0.01882. Okay? So, take note guys, na yung 0 0.01882 is mas maliit. Ay, dapat mas maliit siya kaysa sa raw max, di ba? Pero ang nangyari nga, guys, is take note, mas malaki yung 0 0.01882 compared kay 0 0.01808. So, hindi siya okay. So, ano nga ulit yung ibig sabihin nun pag hindi siya okay, guys? That means, hindi siya maaaring, hindi siya tension controlled. Malaki yung possibility that our beam section is not tension controlled. Okay. So, doon natin yan malalaman sa next na uh, part ng ating problem. No? Kasi pinapakompute man doon yung PMM. Diba? Kailangan natin yung P. So, doon natin siya malalaman. So, again, so again guys, no, para lang klaro tayo. As, sa mga students ko, ay iaalo ko yung paggamit ng table, no. Um, itong table, kung nandun yung mga values. Pero kung wala, hindi i-compute nyo. Kailangan nyo siyang i-compute. Okay, so again guys, no, hindi nyo kailangan tong table, no. Uh, ginagamit lang natin to para mas mabilis yung pag-compute. Pero... I suggest, lalo na sa mga mag-take ng board exam, huwag niyong gamitin itong mga table-table kasi hindi siya ibibigay sa board exam. Okay? So, again guys, no? So, uh, kasi yung nandito sa table is mga whole number. At yung given natin sa problem ay mga may point something. So, hindi natin pwede magamit yung table na to kung, sakal, kung sakaling ganun yung nasa problem. So, yun. So, let's now proceed sa next na question. Ano nga ulit yung next na question, guys? So, balikan muna natin yung ating PowerPoint. So, ayun. So, that is, determine the design moment capacity PMN of the beam in kilo. Okay. So, gumawa ako, guys, ng strain diagram dito. Okay. So, again, no, kailangan muna natin malaman yung attention strain para makuha natin yung phi. Okay. Okay. So, bali, no, dito muna tayo, guys. So, kailangan natin malaman si C. So, ayun. So, gagamitin ulit natin yung formula ng A. 
Torque N yung A nga is equals to, uh, pili lang tayo dun sa dalawang formula guys, no? So, A nga natin is equals to AS FY over um, 0.85 F sub C prime B. Okay, so again, no guys, dalawa yung formula ng A. So, pwede nyo magamit kahit alin dun sa mga formula na yun. Okay, so balikan lang natin, no? Para lang maintindihan natin. So, ayun, so either eto or eto yung gagamitin. Yung row kasi na computer naman na kanina, at saka yung AS na computer na naman, so okay lang kahit saan dyan yung gamitin. Okay? So, ayun, so balik tayo sa whiteboard. Ayun, so bali, no, kapag ka sinold natin, guys, yung ating A, so of course, alam na natin yung AS, kanina na computer natin to. So, AS, isulat ko lang dito, 1847.26, this is in square millimeter. Then, F sub Y is already given, 413.7. This is a Newton per square millimeter kasi megapascal yun. Okay? Tapos, F sub C prime is given, this is 27.6 megapascal. Okay? Then, yung B is also given, which is 255 millimeters. Okay? So, of course, yung A natin, Pag sinasusit natin siya dito guys, sa ating ito, then makukuha natin si A. And A nga is equals to 127.75 millimeters. Okay, so gagamitin natin itong A sa pag-compute ng C kasi nga C is equals to A over beta 1. Okay, so kailangan natin ng beta 1 guys. So of course, di ba kanina naano na natin yung beta 1? Ang sabi natin, beta 1 nga is 0.85 kasi nga yung ating F sub C prime is 27.6 which is less than 28. So, ayun. So, divide lamang guys para makuha si C. So, dito makukuha natin si C and C nga is equals to 150.29 millimeters. Okay. So, kanina natin. Ay, hindi pa pala ito yung sagot na bakit ko binabox. Okay. Okay. Okay, so gagamitin natin guys itong C na to para makuha nga si tension strain. Okay, so by ratio proportion, kaya kunin natin dito guys si uh, tension strain. By ratio proportion dito, that will be tension strain divided by D minus C is equals to 0 0.003 divided by C. Ratio proportion guys, no lang to. Okay, itong triangle is similar to this triangle. So of course, na-compute natin kayo na si C which is, sabi nga natin, si C nga is uh, 150.29. This is in millimeters. Tama ba? Check ko lang, okay? Tapos, of course, si D is already given. Yung D nga is nandito sa ating figure. Wait lang. So, yung D nga natin is 385 millimeters. So, yun. So, ilagay lang natin dito, guys. So, D natin is equals to 385 millimeters. Okay. So, our tension strain is now, can now be computed. No? So, ang lalabas sa tension strain, guys, is 0.004685. Okay. So, ito nga yung ating tension strain. Ayun. So, ngayon, no, dito natin malalaman, guys, kung ito nga ba is... Uh, tension control or compression control or um, transition, di ba? So, sabi natin kanina guys, di ba kung naalala nyo kayo na nung nag-compute tayo ng raw maximum, hindi siya naging okay, di ba? So, sabi ko kanina, maaaring hindi siya, malaki yung possibility na kapag ka hindi na satisfy yung raw sa raw maximum, that means, or raw minimum, that means uh, hindi siya tension control. So, now, no, ay i-compare natin siya I-classify natin siya kung ano nga ba siya. No, kung ito nga ba is tension controlled or compression controlled or uh, transition. Okay, so sabi natin dito guys, again, dito tayo sa PowerPoint. Ayan. So sabi natin dito, again, no, kapag kayong ating tension, uh, tension strain is greater than 0 0.005, tension controlled yun. So tingnan natin guys yung ating tension, tension strain. Ayan. Wait lang. Okay. So, tension strain natin is 0 0.004685. So, again, i-compare natin siya sa 0 
less than siya sa 0.005. So therefore, hindi siya tension control. Di ba guys? Hindi siya tension control. Okay? Kasi nga, less than. So, nandito tayo sa trans maaaring transition siya or maaaring compression control. Okay? So, ang gawin natin ulit guys ay compute muna natin si yield strain para malaman natin kung eto nga ba ay magiging compression control or transition. Okay? So, para makompute natin si yield strain, simple lang, uh, yield strain is, F, is equal to F sub Y divided by the modulus of elasticity ng steel. So, F sub Y natin, guys, is given sa problem, 413.7 megapascal. May kita nyo pa ba? Okay. This is in megapascal. And of course, uh, modulus of elasticity natin is 200,000 megapascal para sa um, SI units. Okay, so of course, yung ating yield strain ay makakumpirin natin dito. This is 0 0.002069. Okay, so ngayon, no, i-compare natin. Ito nga ba, anong bang nangyari sa kanila? Mas malaki siya kaysa sa yield strain, guys, no? So yung ating tension strain is mas malaki kaysa sa yield strain. So tingnan natin nasan dito. Okay. So, kung mas malaki yung ating tension strain kay yield strain, hindi nasa transition tayo, guys. Nasa transition. Okay? So, therefore, isulat natin, this is uh, transition. Okay? So, therefore, transition. Okay? So, ngayon, ano ba yung mangyayari kapag ka-transition siya, guys? Okay? So, ang sabi dito, okay, sa ating, uh, sa NSCP, should the tension strain be less than 0 0.005, again, it is possible to use the section's tension strain if, uh, if that, uh, to use the section, it is possible daw to use the section if the tension strain is not less than certain values. So, ang sabi nga dito sa section 409.3.3.1, uh, for non-pre-stressed beams with P sub U less than 0.10 of F sub C prime A sub G, the tension strain shall be at least 0.004. So, ang gawin natin guys, i-compare natin siya sa 0.004. Kung yung ating um, tension strain ay mas malaki sa 0.004, then pwede siyang magamit. Kung hindi, hindi natin siya pwedeng magamit. Okay, so 0.004 guys, no? So, i-compare natin siya. Okay, so point 0, 0, 4. So, eto ba na tension strain is mas malaki kaysa ka 0, 0, 4? Yes. So, therefore, the beam can be used or the section can be used. Okay? So, yan lang natin dito guys na. Therefore, the section can be Okay. So, again nga guys, yung ating tension strain ay mas malaki kay 0, 0, 0, 4. So, the section can be used. Okay? So, ano yung pagiging, um, ano, kung magagamit siya, then take note, since hindi nga siya tension control, then yung fee natin will not be 0.9. So, di ba nga sabi natin dito, okay, balikan lang nga natin, kung tension control siya, 0.9 yung gagamitin natin. Dito tayo guys, no? Kasi again, this is for spiral, okay? Pero, since nasa transition siya, then ito yung ating magiging computation na ng fee. So, kailangan natin siyang i-compute. Ayun. So, i-compute natin guys yung fee. Balik tayo dito sa whiteboard. O sa green board. Di ay. Or blackboard. Okay. So, fee natin is equals to, ano nga yung formula na yun? 0.65 plus 0.25 times the tension, the, uh, tension strain minus yield strain divided by 0 0.005 minus yield strain. Okay? So, madali na lang siya, guys. Kapag ka na, uh, diba, isasitute lang natin dito yung ating tension strain. Take note, the tension strain natin is 0 0.0064685. Yung yield strain is, alam natin, that is 0 0.002069. So, pag sinasitute natin siya dyan, hindi eh, malapakuha natin yung ating P, which is equals to 0.8731. Ayun. Okay, so ayun, nakakaintindihan tayo guys, no? So, this is very easy actually. Ayun. Okay, so ngayon, no? So, since PMN yung ating kailangan, 
Then, makukumpute natin guys dito si VMN. So, VMN is V multiplied by ASFY multiplied by D minus A over 2. Okay? So, of course, yung V natin na nandyan na, ayun. So, isulat ko lang dito guys, no? So, V natin is 0.8731. Okay? AS is na-compute natin ito kanina. This is 1847.26. 26 pala to. Okay? This is in square millimeter. Ayun. Tapos, F sub Y natin is already given sa problem. This is 413.7. This is in megapascal. So, Newton per square millimeter. F sub C prime. Wala palang F sub C prime. Okay. Andali. Erase natin. Ayun. Tapos, of course, meron tayong D dito, no? So, lagay natin, guys, D is equals to 385 millimeters. And of course, yung A is na-computed natin ito kanina. This is 127.75. Okay, so sandali. Check na natin. Okay. So, ayun. So, substitute lamang, guys. So, sige nga, ano natin yung ating magiging unit dito. So, yung field course is unit less. Then, AS natin is millimeter square. Then, Yung F sub Y natin is Newton per square millimeter. Ayun, tapos itong nandito sa parenthesis is in millimeter. So, ang magiging unit natin dito guys is Newton millimeter. So, i-convert lamang natin siya to kilonewton meter kasi yun yung sabi sa problem. Kailangan daw natin ng kilonewton meter. Okay, so ito yung problem guys. No? So, in kilonewton meter nakalagay dito. Okay, so ayun. So, sa susunod lamang guys, ay naglalabas na sagot, of course, is PMN is equals to 214.27. Convert din na to guys, no? I-convert nyo na lang kilonewton meter na yung aking sagot. Okay, so, again, kapag sinasensute nyo siya dito, okay, newton millimeter yung lalabas, ayun, i-convert nyo pa yung shot to kilonewton meter. So, ang lalabas guys na sagot actually, ay, wala pala, nandito pala. <laughs> okay, so again guys, no, pag sinasitute natin siya ay, Ulitin ko lang, no, kasi nandun pala ako sa PowerPoint Okay, so um, Kapag ka Sinasitute natin ito dito Then ang lalabas must be Newton millimeters Okay, so again guys, no, kasi ito yung ating unit, no Millimeter square, Newton square millimeter Then millimeter So mga kansa si square millimeter, Newton millimeter Yung lalabas na sagot dapat dito Pag sinasitute natin yung PMN. Pero yun nga, kakonvert natin siya to kilonewton meter kasi sabi sa problem, kilonewton meter. So the answer here is 214.27 kilonewton meter. That's it guys. So I hope nagkakaintindihan tayo. So, ayun. So nasolve na natin lahat ng mga problems. So I hope naintindihan nyo. So that's it. So uh, see you sa next video. Bye-bye.